It's your girl Miss Santana, and we're. This was so ugly. Let's try that again. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Santana, and today we're back at it again with another video. But before we get into anything, I just want to take a moment, and it's just real quick, to thank you guys so much. For getting me to 15k subscribers and counting. This is crazy. I can't believe this. I'm just a regular girl from Texas. We have more content coming up, so don't you run away. Back to the video. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. You guys have been requesting this video. I seen it. I seen it in the comments. Y'all, I do what I eat in a day. Do what I eat. I'll do it. Don't hurt me. I'll do it what I eat in a day. I wasn't sure how to exactly do that. I take y'all to the store with me. Do I like meal prep and like show y'all how I prepare my meals? I don't cook. If I did, this lovely apartment would not exist because I probably would have burned it to the ground. Most of the stuff that I eat is stuff that I air fry, bought from the store, and then stuff that I make with, you know, in between. So I'm going to be taking you guys to the store with me and show you guys just fresh off the rack what I eat in a day. I'm gonna show y'all breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. What am I talking about? Without further ado, let's go. <laughs> we are here at Target. Cut off for breakfast first. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm gonna just show y'all like various combinations of stuff and then you guys just put it together however you want. Got some bananas. You can have yourself a banana. If you like bananas, if you don't like bananas, it's fine. You don't have to get a banana. Here's the yogurt. I'm not trying to throw no shade, no tea, but y'all, that yo play yogurt isn't as what's up as we thought. It has 19 to 20 grams of sugar. Easy to mistake to make. I was eating that, I had no idea. But guys, there's another solution. The Dannon Light and Fit. And I get the strawberry flavor. You can get any flavor you want. They are 80 calories and eight grams of sugar. You really can't beat that. So this is really, really, really nice for breakfast or lunch. 80 grams of sugar and eight grams of sugar. I would have yogurt with a boiled egg. Eggs. Let's pick whatever, just a boiled egg, an egg, you know? I'm trying to look for um, like the breakfast sandwiches. I do not shop here. I'm a college student, so why would I have money to actually full them grocery shop at Target? I'm just here because it's less crowded. Ew, vegetables. Wrong aisle. I really, really, really like sausage egg and cheese McMuffins, sausage egg and cheese McGriddles from McDonald's. Obviously, we cannot have that anymore. We're making some changes, but we're, we're just switching stuff out. Now we can have a healthy alternative. These Jimmy Dean's English Muffin Delights. Only 270 calories per sandwich, 18 grams of protein. I don't think you can beat that. That's just really good for a breakfast sandwich. You can have this breakfast sandwich with like a granola bar. Let's make a granola bar, let's go. Where's I about to go? Oh yes, I was to show you guys the, um, the granola bars. Oh, another thing for breakfast. Green tea, y'all, green tea. This is just the green tea that I always drink. Whatever you decide to have for breakfast, if you have the time to sit down and make some tea, make some green tea, because green tea is really good for digestion to help the stuff go in and out of your system. I used to eat these Quaker Oats chewy chocolate chip granola bars. It's like minor minor cuts that can really go a long way. So you can go from eating like regular granola bars to the 25% less sugar. Also pay attention to the calories. 100 calories is pretty good for a granola bar. Anything more, for example, don't be going out and getting this chewy dip chocolate chip. This is basically a Snickers bar for infants. Like this has 140 calories. Let's not even take a look at the sugars. 13 grams of sugar. Is this a candy bar or is this a granola bar? You know, big chewy, all that extra drizzle. No, no, no. We got to keep it simple, y'all. We're just going to stick to this 25% less sugar. And that's great for like a snack in between or you can have it for breakfast. Really move it around however you want. It's up to you. Bavita is a nice favorite of mine. I usually have, like I showed you, the breakfast sandwich with two because each pack of Bavita comes with four. But like, you know, I'm already eating a whole breakfast sandwich. So I have a breakfast sandwich with two bafitas and then some yogurt that I showed you earlier and then my green tea. That's a pretty good breakfast. You didn't throw up, did you? <laughs> like, come on now. I like a fruit in the morning, like an orange, but chances are anything in the morning, I'm most likely late for it. So I will not have time to sit around peeling a whole orange. Like what I recommend is getting a cutie. You know those cuties, the mini oranges? I'm gonna go back and like insert a pic because I don't feel like going all the way down there, but like, Cuties. You can get yourself a bag of cuties and it's so easy to peel. Like you can literally peel it when you're running on the way out. Oranges are not the same thing. Halos, 
cuties, those mini oranges. I don't think they're mini oranges. I think they're called mandarins. But yeah, so that concludes the breakfast take. That's what I eat for breakfast. Breakfast is supposed to be simple. If you don't even have time for breakfast, I don't blame you. You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but like, I'd be late in the morning, so I really don't have time for breakfast. But when I do, this is definitely what I eat for breakfast. So now, let's move on to lunch. My lunch and my dinners, they're like really interchangeable. Like sometimes if I don't make lunch on time, I'll just eat what I was supposed to eat for lunch for dinner. I don't really know if you're supposed to do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you guys some lunch slash dinner stuff that you guys can eat that are really, really good. I don't really have anything heavy because I'm most likely on the go, either at work or at school or just doing something stupid that just caused me to not have enough time to eat lunch. My absolute fave, call me crazy, but at least you call me, are these Amy's Cheese Pizza Bites. They're like, um, what are they called? Uh, what are the mini Hot Pockets called? Oh Lord, please tell me y'all have it. Okay, no disrespect, <laughs> like while I'm looking like, you don't have to eat this crazy stuff, guys. Just. I'm gonna find this the, the simple stuff that you guys could eat. I promise, mama gonna find y'all something. I'm really having issues locating the Amy's bites, but I'm gonna just show y'all another thing that I like to eat. Remember I told y'all, y'all's homework was go get an air fryer. If you listened and you did your homework and got an air fryer, you're in luck. Check it out. Air fried nuggets. 75% less fat, and they still taste pretty good, guys. The serving size for this is like five pieces, but like, I'm not a baby. <laughs> so I'll definitely eat like six or seven with like a fruit. Always try to squeeze in as much fruit as you can. Remember the green smoothie? You, this is your perfect time to incorporate the green smoothie. You have brush strips, y'all, I forgot to mention. So if you don't want the nuggets, you want the strips. These are really good, y'all. Like putting y'all onto free game. These are also really good as well. Simply Smart Organic Chicken Brush Strips. They're really good and they're organic and y'all they taste so good like you know I used to be so scared every time I saw organic so I was like obviously that means it's disgusting but no these are really good just have your sauce on the side you know so that's lunch basically just a bunch of chicken stuff I'm a carnivore what can I say I showed y'all breakfast I showed y'all lunch let's get to din din dude are you serious to me right now dude dude like you seriously don't have that either they don't have it or somebody is out here buying my stuff. A lot of the dinner stuff that I was trying to show y'all, they do not have. So now I'm just standing in the store looking some type of way because I don't have a backup plan. I have the salmon and potatoes. I can take y'all to the fish section. I can show you the salmon that I get. But then I wouldn't be any use of y'all, used to y'all because y'all don't know how I cook it. But I mean, there's plenty of recipes on YouTube. Y'all can find one. Or maybe if y'all really, really, really want, I can make one. Okay, so all you need is a plain salmon breast fillet. Just a regular salmon breast. You guys can work with that. Also, sometimes I like to chop up chicken breasts and just throw them in the air fryer and just make my own chicken bites. I literally just throw random seasoning on it and throw it in the air fryer and it actually tastes pretty good. So you can actually find yourselves some chicken breasts, season them and cut it up and throw them up. OMFG, guys, y'all just reminded me. I make chicken tacos. I make chicken tacos, guys. I make chicken tacos, so I just might make a whole video on my chicken tacos. But until then, just enjoy some chicken bites. Just cut these up into chunks, season it, put it in the air fryer, and then, oh, wow, everything is coming to me in such a rush. Let me take y'all to the, to the potatoes where I can show y'all the fries. So all these regular, regular fries, no, no, no. We're gonna look for these non-GMO Alexia brand. That's what we're looking for. Uh, they don't have what I'm looking for. I usually get like a smaller bag. Fries. See, the sweet potato fries are disgusting anyways. I don't even eat those. But if you are a sweet potato person and you really want some sweet potato fries but you don't want to like break your calorie bank, you can definitely eat those. Um, these health cut fries, 130 calories per serving. There's these wings that I eat. These are actually really, really, really good. Let me find them for you guys. Wow, I didn't know that they were lacking like this. Like, why don't y'all have everything? That's really embarrassing for me and my homegirls because, like, I came here thinking that y'all was going to have everything. I will just insert pictures, I guess. It, it doesn't hit the same. Oh, Y'all see me? Yeah, no, I tried. We're going to move on to, like, snacks because the snacks is the important stuff. I know, like, obviously not everyone has time to hit three meals a day, but everyone definitely has time to snack. Got apples. 
Strawberries are great, but be careful because they do go bad really fast. It doesn't matter what brand you get. You buy strawberries, you turn your back, and they're bad. So if you know you're not serious and you're not gonna eat those strawberries, don't get them because you will waste your money. Strawberries are not a joke. Blueberries? Raspberries. I don't eat blackberries, so I wouldn't I wouldn't want to recommend that to you guys. Then pineapple chunks. The pineapple chunks that I was using in the smoothie, you can also have pineapple chunks. Just eat them throughout the day. Carry them in a container. But yeah, get yourself a container. Also grapes, which are my favorite because they're so portable. Like you just grab a handful, stick them in a in a ziploc, and just munch away. And they're not a loud snack. So if you're like somewhere where you're not supposed to be eating, but you're like so hungry, just carefully pull out some grapes. Food so those are all the fruities. They do not, like I said, they do not have the, the low calorie stuff I was talking to you about. So we'll just have to, I'll just have to insert a pic. Wow. I like sweet stuff. I like to crave sweet stuff throughout the day when I'm not supposed to, but I just do. So you guys can try these outshine bars. No sugar added fruit bars. They taste so good, y'all. And they have two grams of sugar. They kind of lied. They said no sugar added and then they just quickly added two grams of sugar. But it's all good. Oh, it says total sugar is one. The nutrition facts is complicated. Just know that it has one to two grams of sugar and it has like 25 calories per bar. Like, y'all better go get this. I don't know why I did that to myself. I accidentally came down the candy aisle. Uh, that's another thing when you're shopping try to avoid the candy aisle and the junk food aisle as much as you can because if This is how it happens. You don't intend on buying anything. You're like, okay I'm just gonna go but then you accidentally go down the aisle and then you see it and you're like, oh my gosh I'm gonna buy it even though that was never the plan One thing I like to snack on throughout the day is these club crackers. They have the original they have the multi-grain I recommend the multi-grain because they're healthier. I mean original multi-grain. It doesn't matter You can snack on that with some water throughout the day Sounds like a lame snack, but once you eat it, you're like, this is no ordinary cracker. Well, you know, you have the regular Welch's fruit snacks, have a reduced sugar, 25% less sugar, and has less calories. Original fruit snacks have like 80 calories, 11 grams of sugar. The reduced sugar ones have 60 grams of sugar, and they have seven grams of sugar. So definitely go grab these. But like I said, don't abuse these. Don't be like, oh yeah, I got the healthy fruit snacks, and then you just eat the whole box. That is not going to help you. Don't do that. Just limit yourself to like one to two packs. These fiber ones, if you absolutely need something sweet, trust me, I get you. They have two different kinds. They have these brownies, and then they have these cinnamon coffee cakes. And I don't even know what the heck a coffee cake is, but it tastes it tastes pretty good. So it only has five grams of net carbs and two grams of sugar. And guys, it actually tastes like a brownie. Can't beat this. So if you want a brownie, no worries. You can have one. This right here, once again, don't see I didn't put y'all on to anything. Coffee cakes are pretty good too, and I don't even eat coffee cakes. I don't even know what a coffee cake is. I just saw this flavor and I just grabbed it, and it tastes pretty good as well. I never had this before, a brownie chocolate chip cookie, but I actually think I might buy this right now. Chewy bar, it's like chocolate peanut butter. Once again, 70 calories and one gram of sugar. These right here, if you got a sweet tooth, you need something sweet, these are pretty good too. I've only ever had the cinnamon sugar and the salted caramel. 20 of these is only 120 calories. Twenty of these is about 120 calories as well. Don't say I never put y'all on to anything. Was I really about to go without showing you guys the Boom Chicka Pop? This is my ultimate favorite. F everything else. This right here is so good. Sweet and saucy kettle corn. And guys, a bag literally only has 140 calories, eight grams of sugar, and it tastes so good. This boom chicka pop, y'all, will get your boom chicka right. Ew, that was so ugly. <laughs> so if you want, if you don't want the bag version, like the, cause the one I showed you was like a value bag with like mini, mini bags in it. But it's like the big bag of it. So one cup is 70 calories for some sweet and salty kettle popcorn. Kettle corn popcorn, can't beat that. They also have different flavors. They have this cheddar cheese. Skinny pop is a little better. I should, probably should have started with that one. Skinny Pop is 39 calories per cup. This is the original. Then they have a white cheddar 
and that's 43 calories per cup. So you got skinny pop and boom chicka pop. Smart food white cheddar. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Two and a half cups, 160 calories for two and a half cups. Your favorite hot Cheetos, right? Your fave. 21 pieces has 170 calories, 11 grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs. Now let's compare that to the baked. Right off the bat, 50% less fat. 140 for 34. The last one only had, it was 170 for 21. This is 140 for 34, less than one gram of sugar. The other one had 11 grams of fat, this has five. So if you must have your hot Cheetos, this is the best alternative I can offer y'all. If y'all love y'all's original Lay's, I mean y'all's ruffles, let's compare and contrast, shall we? So the original has 160 calories for about 11 chips, 10 grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs. The baked version has already off, riff off the bat, 65% less fat. The same 11 chips, this one gives you 160 calories, these 11 chips give you 120 calories. This gives you 10 grams of fat. This gives you 3.5 grams of fat. Need I say more? I didn't even realize they had more because I, I, I always just eat the original white cheddar, but they have Smart Food 50, which is half of that for the original Smart Food white cheddar and then they have the Smart 50. It has two and a half cups for 160. It already beat whatever I showed y'all earlier. But then this one, for three cups, you get 150. These have 10 grams of fat. Eight grams of fat. If y'all want to be even skinnier than ever, get the Smart 50 Smart Food. It's, smart Food is crazy. I saved the best for last. My sweet two girlies, where y'all at? How do you guys understand how embarrassed I am that they don't have it? Because I seriously did that huge introduction and they just don't have it. But these are really, really, really good, y'all. They still taste like candy and it's like less than half of whatever we would normally find inside of candy. So. I highly recommend going out and get getting this. How would I told you you can still lose weight while still eating ice cream? You would probably choke me, lift me up, slam me to the floor, roll me on the floor, stomp on me four times, and then scream, shut up, liar, right? But I'm not lying, guys. Look at this. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Halo Top Ice Cream. Y'all better go check them out. They are the truth, y'all. They have so many different flavors. And let me tell y'all something. The cow that you see displayed on this ice cream container is per pint, not per serving. I'm not gonna drag old ice cream brand name that I'm not gonna say because I don't wanna get sued, but let's just say it rhymes with Lou Mel. One serving, this is probably one serving, but with this, this is the whole serving. This is my go-to, this is my TTG, this is everything right here. Halo Top, 330 calories per entire pint. And it only has, how many grams of sugar? Eight grams of sugar. What ice cream do you know that has eight grams of sugar? I'll wait. They also have vanilla bean, which is another one of my faves, and it's 290 calories per container. Once again, let me repeat it. Per container, not per serving, per container. Seven grams of sugar for the whole pint. For the whole pint. If you guys need ice cream, I got y'all. Y'all can still eat ice cream. Like I said, don't abuse it. So don't be eating three or four of these, and then like I said, trying to cover it up with a green smoothie and be like, hey, what's going on? Like, what do you think? What do you think? They have all these different flavors. They have salt, sea salt caramel and vanilla bean. Those are my two favorite flavors. I tried their chocolate chip cookie dough, but like, you know, don't be surprised. It is healthy ice cream, so yeah. 360 calories per pint. They got strawberry. They got peaches and cream for all my disgusting people out there. They have your, your nasty stuff here too. Blueberry crumble, birthday cake, cookies and cream. Like what? That is everything. So I hope you guys, nah, I know y'all found something useful because that was way too much that I just gave y'all. Y'all found something. <laughs> y'all found something, I know y'all did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, oh, before I forget. Okay, so my next video is going to be like a question and answer video. So I'm gonna be answering like, you know, a lot of questions that people might have. Like, you know, who is the real Mitch Santana, you know? Like, figure me out. <laughs> Whenever I drop this video, I'm gonna um, go to my Instagram, I'm gonna open it up. Cause you know how you can like ask people questions on their Instagram through their Instagram stories? So that's what I'm going to do. If you don't already follow me, my name is Mitch Santana underscore. If you can't type that, it's in the description box. It's also in my banner. You just press the Instagram logo in my banner and it'll take you directly to my page. Just make sure you go run over to my Instagram and ask me questions in the inbox. And don't ask me like basic questions like, oh, um, 
uh, I don't know, ask me whatever you want, really. I, what am I talking about? Ask me whatever you want, and then I'll be answering them in my next video. If you haven't already, check out my last video. It's what I do at the gym. Super simple and beginner friendly, so if you wanna start going to the gym but you don't know where to start, go check out that last video, I got you. And in the video before that, I have a green smoothie video, so if you wanna start getting a little healthy, healthy, but you don't know how healthy, I have a green smoothie video where I show you guys how to make my green smoothie. I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys already know. Ta-ta!